okay so let's begin so i hope uh, okay so most of you in in my my classes i was doing uh, yeah okay fair enough so most of you are kind of acquainted with uh, the concepts of quadrilateral the objective today is we are going to solve exemplar uh, problems okay and uh, uh, this is how it will be so first we'll just run through the main concepts and results which is in very uh, summarized form and then we will take up the questions one by one okay so let's begin so uh, the first concept in quadrilateral is sides angles and diagonals of a quadrilateral different types of quadrilateral so we have studied trapezium parallelogram rectangle rhombus and square and on top of it we have also studied kites okay so just a minute um, yeah so uh, some of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees we discussed this last time angle sum property of a quadrilateral then a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into this is where it all starts right so um, if you see we need to know the proofs of these theorems as well these are all theorems so a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles please remember these properties in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal opposite sides are equal and diagonals bisect each other so if you remember i had shared um, this thing in the group i'll show you once again so this is what i shared oh okay you you guys are not able to see my screen wait a minute so this is what i shared in the group i believe all of you have this card with you um yep so basically the entire gist of quadrilateral is in this slide okay so if you see uh trapezium only one pair of opposite sides are parallel two pairs of adjacent angles are supplementary so what i have done is uh there are all different types of quadrilaterals and their properties around their sides angles diagonals area and i have given you an example diagram as well so you can keep this slide in printed form in front of you whenever you are trying to solve problems don't try to remember or memorize stuff uh i believe if you do enough practice on these questions you will be able to by heart it so hence uh keep this in front of you all the time so now uh coming back to this a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if its opposite angles are equal its opposite sides are equal its diagonal bisect each other a pair of opposite side is equal and parallel so i believe you guys have already gone through this diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other and are equal and vice versa they do not bisect at right angles so please remember in in a rectangle they do not bisect at right angles but they definitely bisect each other on the contrary diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles right so you now you, you must remember so rhombus is a special type of parallelogram where the diagonals are not equal but they bisect at right angles what is the difference between rectangle and a rhombus So rectangle diagonals bisect uh, each other and are equal. Rhombus uh, diagonals also bisect each other, but they are not equal. But they bisect at right angles. These are critical points here. Now diagonals of a square bisect each other at right angles and are equal, and vice versa. So square is the most idealized form of a quadrilateral you can think of. Everything is good about square. All the sides are equal. All diagonals are equal. Di diagonal bisect each other. Diagonal bisect each other at right angles. so it's a good boy square now the line segment or girl as well so the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and it's half of it this is called the midpoint theorem very very important theorem for all problem solving later on in geometry please remember this what is this the line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half of it okay fair enough other uh, thing is other point is a line drawn through the midpoint of a side of a triangle parallel to another side bisects the third side this is a converse of the previous statement if you see the line joining the midpoints so let me just go to my notebook so that i can explain this okay so here you go so basically yep so now what midpoint theorem states is this yeah 
So if there is a triangle, you know this, I'm just trying to uh, revise it for you so that you do not face, uh, let's say you do not have any issues in this. So let me just redraw, yeah. So let's say this is a triangle. Okay, and let's say this is A, B, C. And they're saying, let's say point D is the midpoint of, D is the midpoint of A, B. And uh, let's say E is the midpoint of A, C. Then if you join D, E, so D, E will be parallel to B, C, the third side, as well as D, E, D, E will be equal to half of B, C. So this is a important theorem. Converse is also true. What is converse? Converse says that if you have a triangle again and you have one midpoint here and you draw a line parallel to the third side, let's say you do this now, you're you are deliberately drawing a parallel line from one of the midpoints, then the other midpoint, E, sorry, the other point of intersection of this line will be the midpoint of AC, right? So this is midpoint. So in the first case, the direct theorem, you say, okay, midpoints are already there. I join, I get parallel line. The, the converse is, uh, one, I draw a parallel line from one of the midpoint. It intersects the other side on its midpoint. So this is what is midpoint theorem. Now that you have any other doubt in this, so before we start solving problems, so we will go rapid fire. I believe you should be able to, if in case you are not able to, then I will take up the problem. You can message me privately as well. Okay, so let me begin. Yeah, so this is the, so start with MCQs guys. Okay, so here's the question. You can type in your answers and uh, in the chat box so that we can, I will keep a track of who's doing what and maybe I would like to reward you guys. Yeah. So those who are performing. So before you uh, say your answer, please check. Okay. Before you jump on your answers, you have to check. Yeah. Go ahead guys. So first answer, first answers are coming, right? Instead of, I would suggest instead of um, doing it on the, the thing, you know, the common chat box, you, you send me, send your answers privately to me. There's an option where you can send your, this thing. Can you see, I don't know if you are able to see this. All of you must send me your answers privately to me so that, you know, there's no common chat. Okay, fair enough. So most of you are saying 120 degrees. There are a few answers which are saying 90 as well. So, okay, so there's no brainer in it. So 75 plus 75. So basically the first thing is, yep. First, first thing is, okay, let me just go back to, yeah. So hence here, so yes, I hope you are able to see the screen now. So hence I'll be doing this half here, half there. Okay, now, so uh, question one is, uh, till, I, no, uh, till I say don't go to the next question because I will be keeping track of your, responses anyways so we are going to count how many of you have done it okay so um first question angle sum property there's no brain on it angle sum property angle sum property and uh, yes so hence most of you have done it correctly 75 plus 90 plus 75 and let this be x so 360 so x is nothing but 360 degrees minus 240, which is 120 degrees. So first is correct, 120. Go to the question number two. An angle of a rectangle is inclined to one side of the rectangle at 25 degrees C. The acute angle between the diagonal is. Yeah, go ahead, guys. So a diagonal of a rectangle. So there has to be a rectangle. Rectangle. And uh, it says the diagonal is this. The diagonal, the diagonal of a rectangle is inclined to one side of the rectangle at 25 degrees. Okay, the acute angle between the diagonals is, hmm, or you at least let me know who's who, otherwise you will miss. Yep. Go ahead guys, so Aniket, okay, I got the answer. Aniket, the question, read the question carefully, what does it say? It says, Acute angle between the di diagonal. Acute angle. Acute angle. 
Hmm. Yeah. So please be very very careful. So I know you guys are tempted to write the answer, and here you, you know, here is the thing where you make a lot of mistake. Yeah. So how to solve this? So it says twenty five degrees. So how do I know uh, which one is? So let's say this angle is x, and this angle is y. I don't know which one is acute. So let it let me let me say this is x and this is y. Okay. So if it is twenty five, you know that. you know this angle will also be equal to 25 degrees and why is that it's because a b c d if you see triangle a b a d c is congruent to triangle b c d you can see that yep so when that is the case then this angle will also be 25 so hence i know y will be equal to 180 degrees Minus twenty five degrees minus twenty five degrees is equal to one thirty degrees. But this is a obtuse angle, so hence if this y is one thirty, x must be fifty degrees. So answer is fifty degrees. <coughs> okay, I hope there is no problem in understanding why ADC is congruent to BCD because sides are equal. There's a common side and there's a ninety degree in each. So hence, so I will be doing it fast. Very good, guys. So I can see a lot of answers, but not ah. Uh, there are how many participants are there? There are more than forty forty five participant participants are there, but I am not seeing all the responses, guys. Your responses are being tracked, so hence you know. So those who are not participating, if you do not share your problem, then we will think that it is not working for you. Okay, next question number three. Go ahead. ABCD is rhombus such that ACB is forty degrees. Find ADB. Okay, so ABCD is a rhombus. ABCD is a rhombus. ABCD is a rhombus. Okay, so is that ACB? Okay, ACB. So there's a diagonal which is joined to this thing. Okay, and they're saying ACB is what? ACB is forty degrees. Yes. You have to find out ADB. ADB. Answer is A D B. To find out A D B, how to find A D B? So you know what is our property? We are going to use in a rhombus. Diagonals bisect each other at ninety degrees. So this angle is ninety. So A we have to find out this X. Okay, clearly if this is ninety, this is forty. So this angle would be how much? One eighty minus ninety minus forty. So fifty. Okay, so X is equal to fifty. Why? Because these two lines are parallel. So hence this and this angle are in alternate interior angle. So hence answer is fifty degrees. Great. So all of you must participate in problem solving. Otherwise, you will think that the session is not good for you. Next and uh, question number four. The quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of the quadrilateral P to R S taken in order is a rectangle if Don't send me all the answers. I don't require it right now. You just send me one by one. Question two again. Question two again. A diagonal of a rectangle. So there's a demand for question two. So I'm doing question two once again. So it was given that there is a rectangle. There is a rectangle and one of the diagonals. So this angle is given as twenty five degrees. You have to find out the the acute angle between them. Okay, so hence I'm saying I don't know which one is acute angle. There are two possibilities, either x or y. Oh, here you go. So you know, so I don't know which one is acute. So x and y. There are two possibilities. I have to find out x or y both. So I'm saying A B C D, and I said triangle A D C is congruent to triangle B C. D and why is that? Because AD is equal to BC. Rectangle opposite sides are equal. DC is equal to DC common side, and this angle is ninety degrees. So angle ADC is equal to angle ACD. Both are ninety. So hence, by SAS, they are congruent. If they are congruent, then if this angle is X, sorry, not X. If this is twenty-five, so this also has to be twenty-five. Now, what is X? You can use external angle theorem as well. So x is nothing but if x is external angle, it will be sum of 
interior opposite so 25 plus 25 either you you can use this that means 50 degrees or you can find this angle let's say this is y so y is 130 so x has to be 30 uh, 50 by linear pair okay so i hope uh, you understood how to get 50 degrees here if not then you can again reach out to me after the class no problem so three is done what about four the quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of a quadrilateral pqrs taken in order is a rectangle if okay so let's draw a quadrilateral so this is a quadrilateral looks like a rectangle unfortunately let me draw a little different no so uh, this also is proper wait a minute guys hmm i'll draw a random so that there is no confusion okay so one two three and four yeah this looks a little better so let's say this is a b c d and they're saying uh, that quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of quadrilateral PQRS. So, oh, uh, joining the midpoint. Okay. So, this is, these are the midpoints. Okay. So, midpoints, midpoint, midpoint. Okay. So, don't go by the diagram. Assume that it is a midpoint or let it be. Huh? So, let's say this is P, Q, R, S. Okay. Now, uh, See, it will always be a parallelogram for sure. Why? Because if you apply midpoint theorem, midpoint theorem, which says that if you join two midpoints of a triangle, so let's consider this triangle A, B, D. In this triangle, SP is S and P are the midpoints of the side, so SP will be parallel to DV. And in the second, this triangle, which one? B, C, D. In this triangle, again, Q, R are midpoints. So hence, these two sides are again parallel. So all the three, all the three sides are parallel. So hence, basically, you will get from here, P, S is parallel to Q, R. And similarly, by the same logic, S, R will be parallel to P, Q. So that means, without any doubt, P, Q, R, S is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. Now they're saying uh, it's a rectangle. That means this angle is 90 degree. When is that possible? If this is 90 degrees, that, that means it is a rectangle. All are 90 degrees. Hmm? If that is 90 degree, that means this is 90 degree. So basically, um, uh, yes, if all are, yeah, oh, yes. So this is 90 degrees. So basically you have to find out whether PQRS is a rectangle, parallelogram, diagonals of PQRS are perpendicular or diagonals of PQRS are equal. Okay. Labeling is wrong. Where, which question you are talking about, Aditi? Oh, did I, you guys taken in order. Uh, where is labeling wrong? PQ. Yeah. Which one? So the quadrilateral is PQRS and the midpoints aren't given a name. According to the question. The quadrilateral yeah. midpoint of the side of the quadrilateral. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 okay. My bad. So basically they are, instead of PQRS, you are, you can take it as A, B, C, D. Basically they're talking about by joining midpoint. Uh -huh. So instead of, okay, fair enough. So in this question, replace PQRS by A, B, C, D. That's it. Okay. So that's the thing. Okay, so I think most of you are confused. So let me rename it. So let me say this is not PQRS. Let this be PQRS is the original quadrilateral. So that's what they are talking about. Okay, never mind. So let's say this is P, Q, R, and sorry, R and S, and this is not R. So let me name this as A, B, C, D. Okay, so midpoint theorem says. That in a triangle, if you have a triangle, if you join the midpoint, what will happen? You will get a line parallel to the base. Okay, so in, in this case, consider PSQ or PQS, triangle PQS. If you see, QS is the base, D and A are the midpoints. So if you join, you'll get AD parallel to QS or SQ. Okay, similarly, Similarly, in the second case, triangle RQS, BC is parallel to QS. 
right? That means combining these two, you'll get AD is parallel to BC. So AD is parallel to BC, and similarly, you will get CD is parallel to AB. What does this suggest? It suggests that one thing is very clear that ABCD is a parallelogram. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, right? Now they are saying, what are they saying? They're saying the quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of a quadrilateral, that is A, B, C, D in this case, is a rectangle. So when is this rectangle? When one of the angle of A, B, C, D quadrilateral is 90 degrees. So let's say this is 90 degree. A is 90. So A is 90, right? If, if that is so, then this is also 90 and all are 90 degrees. So it's a rectangle, right? It's a rectangle. So when it is a rectangle, what can you say about PQRS is the question. Is PQRS is a rectangle? So is, is PQRS is a rectangle? So if you see, the, there are two methods of solving this. Either you eliminate your options. Okay, most of you are struggling in this problem, it seems. Again, I'm repeating. PQRS is a quadrilateral given and A, B, C, D are respective points. Okay, what we are going to, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to analyze what kind of a, uh, this thing is there. PQRS is what kind of a quadrilateral, whether it's a rectangle, whether it is a parallelogram, whatever. So, you know, how do we come to conclude that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram? So A, B, C, D, if you see A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. How? Because by adopting midpoint theorem, what does midpoint theorem say? It says that D and A are midpoints. If D and A are midpoints, then DA will be parallel to SQ in triangle PSQ. I hope this thing is clear to everyone. Now similar logic, BC, this line BC will be parallel to SQ by midpoint theorem. Now both BC, BC is also parallel to SQ and DA is also parallel to SQ. So this is also parallel to SQ and CB or BC is also parallel to SQ. That means BC is parallel to, so these two lines are parallel, isn't it? So these two lines are parallel. Similarly, these two lines are parallel. I hope you got this. So when two opposite sides are parallel, then it is a parallelogram, correct? So that's what I am trying to explain. So hence we could prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. If you didn't understand, no worries. After the class, you can pin me and then explain again or I'll send you a solution. So ABCD is a parallelogram. Now the question remains, if it is a rectangle, they are saying ABCD is a rectangle. Um, what is that? Yeah. Uh -huh. So PQRS, ABCD comes out to be a rectangle. The quadrilateral so made is a rectangle. You have to find out what properties PQRS is having. So PQRS is a rectangle, is a parallelogram, or diagonals of PQRS are perpendicular, diagonals of PQRS are equal. See, if it is a, if PQRS, so I was talking about you can eliminate the options or you can do theoretically. Let's say no options are given, then what can you say about this quadrilateral? So solve it like a theoretical problem. Let's say there is no option given, then what will you do? How will you conclude that, uh, what, uh, how will you conclude about PQRS? Now, so if you see, um, yes. So what will you conclude about PQRS guys? Okay, so this is 90 degrees given. Okay. So yeah. So if you see if it is a rectangle guys, then uh, what can you say about these two just a minute. Yeah, I am just trying to say, uh, let's say you don't have these options. So forget, omit these options. Now let us try to do it theoretically. How do I get to know about the properties of PQRS? So never mind. So this is 90, this is for sure. And if you see, let me just name some more. I'm, you know, I will do the calculation. I will just remove painting so that we can clear. Yeah. So let me just name them. Let me say this is uh, PQRS and then let's say E and F. So clearly E and EF. So I'm writing here 
please be pay attention. So A, B, E, and F is a rectangle again. Okay, this is also a rectangle. Why? Because A, I'm highlighting it and then I'll remove the highlight. So this is a rectangle also. Why? Because it's a parallelogram with one angle is 90 degrees. So this is a rectangle. So they are, uh, this is 90 degrees. Okay. Now, now, so uh, this is a parallelogram. So this also is 90 degree. So if you don't understand, I'll explain again. Don't worry. This is 90. This is also 90. Okay. 90 degrees. Okay. Now what? So if these are uh, 90 degrees, so this is perpendicular. Okay. And uh, yes. So how do we do it without any this thing? Okay. So this is 90. Okay. So Fair enough. Mm, this angle is equal to this angle. Similarly, this angle is also equal to this angle. Okay, that's also there. Okay. Now what? Yes. Fourth answer is C. How is C? Can you prove? Diagonals of PQRS are perpendicular. Can you prove that? PQRS is the main, the yeah, from the uh, the outer quadrilateral is PQRS. I want a proof. I just don't want an option. Anyone who has done this? Yeah, sir, if you draw the other diagonal also. So what will happen in that case? Uh, yeah, then one part of it, if you prove that, that'll be a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel. So cool. the opposite angles will be equal. Who, who's this? Shreya. Yeah, Shreya, you're saying P, join PQ, join PR. PR, PR. Okay, then what? Okay, now in uh, okay, um, can you label the inside? Let's say this is point O. Okay, so yes, right direction. So hence what? So hence if you see, uh, AB also is parallel to CD, and AB is mid. Uh, AB is half of PR. Yeah. Yeah. So hence this angle is also ninety degrees. Yeah, so it's a it's a parallelogram. First, you prove that it's a parallelogram. The parallelogram already, and it is inter, in, it is intersecting at ninety degrees. That is also for sure. That's correct. Yeah. So the opposite angles. What opposite angles? What are the what are the options? So diagonals of PQRS are perpendicular. That's C. Yeah. yeah. So you can definitely see, say that. Can you also say anything about uh? Why is PQRS is a, a rectangle not a correct option? Just try to deliberate more on this problem. Can PQRS be a rectangle? Can that be an option? Think about it, guys. Can PQRS? What happens if PQRS is a rectangle? Then automatic will will this ABCD will all be also a rectangle? No, sir. Why? It will form a diamond. It will form a diamond. Okay. So let's see. Uh, what I'm trying to say is this is a rectangle. Okay. And uh, you are joining the midpoints of these two. It will it will actually lead to a another parallelogram. Right? So it will lead to another parallelogram. Correct. Can there be any possibility of P, uh, uh, PQRS being a rectangle and ABCD being a rectangle as well? Think about it. This is a very interesting problem. Can both ABCD as well as PQRS be rectangle at the same time? Sir, if PQRS is a square, then it will be possible. Yes, so, but PQRS. I'm saying. I'm not saying. I'm not talking about PQRS being a square. I'm talking about PQRS being a rectangle. Think about it. Okay. So, but every square is a rectangle, right? Yeah. As in not a proper square, I'm telling you. It's not a square, let's say. Let's say PQRS is not a square, then. Fair enough, let's not deliberate more on that question. Go to question number five. Quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of a quadrilateral PQRS taken in order is a rhombus if, yes, if, so the same problem, but now instead of, um, what, instead of rectangle, is a, is a rhombus. So AD is equal to AB 
it's a rhombus so a rhombus what is what does a rhombus say so let me just create some space here so it's given that the same problem but now the abcd is a rhombus that means ab ab is equal to cd is equal to b uh, what ac let me write in order a ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to da this is given so what can you say about the quadrilateral option is d diagonals of pqrs are equal hmm diagonals of pqrs are equal yes why because ad is equal to half of qs by midpoint theorem similarly cd is equal to half of pr and ad is half of qs and ad is equal to cd they are equal that means half qs is equal to half pr that means qs is equal to pr good sir we can't see oh i'm sorry ha huh? this is what i was writing sorry yeah next i hope this is understood by all question number 6 to 10 fire Wait a minute. Where did he go? Yeah. Question number six to. Sir, I have a doubt. Yes. Go ahead, Yashika. Question number four and five. Please go ahead and tell me. Unmute and tell me. Yes. Sir, I didn't. Sir, I didn't understand uh, the question number four and five properly. Question number four and five. Meanwhile, those who are those who want to solve more, go ahead with six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Meanwhile, I'll explain what is question number four and five. See, what they are talking about is simple. What they are saying is there is a quadrilateral P Q R S P Q R and S. Yeah. So now I hope this is visible properly. Yeah, I hope I am. Ah, uh, I get some. So what they are saying is, find a midpoint. Let's say A, then midpoint. Let's say B, then midpoint. Let's say let's say B, uh, the midpoint, and join A B. And now they are saying A B C D is a rectangle. After doing all this exercise, A B C D is a rectangle. So you have to basically find the property of PQRS. What can you say about PQRS? So they have given four options. It is a rectangle. It is a parallel. Whatever uh, there are, I can't see the options right now. So hence, how do I go about it? So I joined SQ. So if I join SQ and PR, okay. So I joined SQ and PR. Okay. So if I joined SQ and PR, let's say this is O. so it is a rectangle so i know ab is parallel to sq by midpoint theorem yes sir okay similarly bc is parallel to sq same logic so if two lines are parallel to the same line the two lines are parallel to each other isn't it hmm so ab is parallel to cd hmm by same logic ad will be parallel to bc correct yes sir that means abcd is a parallelogram parallelogram so, now they are saying the, this parallelogram what you got is a rectangle that means this angle is 90 hmm right? so if this is 90 this has to, all of them will be 90 yes sir right now if you see consider this this part this quadrilateral is this a parallelogram again It is a parallelogram. Why? Because these are parallel lines. These are parallel lines. So this parallelogram, right? Yes, sir. This angle is ninety degree. Hmm. So if this is ninety, all of them are ninety. Hmm. Ninety, ninety. So hence, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Okay. Isn't it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And similarly, the sixth next question was, uh, if it is a rhombus. If it is a rhombus, yeah. second question, question number five was, it's a rhombus. Rhombus means AB is equal to BC, right? Mm. So AB mm. is equal to BC. 
then ab was half of sq and bc was half of pr so sq is equal to pr so diagonals are equal yes sir okay yep question number 6 done guys then abcd is 3 is to 7 is to 6 is to 4 so the question is question number 6 you can mute now So question number six says A B C D is a quadrilateral. A B C D. Oh. A B C D. Yep. So A B C D is a quadrilateral such that the uh, the ratio is. Yeah. So all of you are able to do it. So three is to seven is to six is to four. So three x, then seven x, then six x. And four x. Okay, so A B C D is this, isn't it? So hence, total angle sum property. So three x plus seven x plus six x plus four x is three sixty degrees, right? So ten twenty x is three sixty degrees. So x is eighteen degrees, right? So hence, angles are. Fifty-four. Then, next angle is um, yeah. So, one twenty-six degrees. Third angle is six x. So it is one not eight and four x seventy-two. Eighteen seven eighteen four is a seventy-two. so you are saying they are trapezium it's trapezium yes why because if you see these two angles a plus b is equal to 180 degrees and c plus d also is 180 degrees so hence they are supplementary adjacent angles being supplementary and only two pairs that means it is a trapezium good guys question number 7 Seven, seven done. So, if bisectors of angle A and B of quadrilateral ABC intersect each other at P, so let me draw the diagram. So there is a quadrilateral ABCD. Bisectors of A and B of a quadrilateral. So this is angle bisector. So they meet at a point P. So this is X. This is also X. This is Y. This is also Y. Add up e of b uh, each other at p of b a oh, what of b and c at q and c and d at r and okay fair enough so basically um uh, you will get different different so this is another point then this is another point so like that these are the final this thing so a b c d and let's say this is p then b and c are q and r and s so what is pqrs it's a rectangle how do i know because we know that what theorem will be applicable here the theorem is the bisectors by sectors of two adjacent adjacent sides sorry not sides angles of a quad trilateral meet at right angles okay this is the theorem behind it so if you see how how do i know that so let's say consider a o b triangle Angle AOB. So this is not AOB, not APB. APB. So what is it? So if you see, angle P plus X plus Y is equal to 360 degrees. Hey, hold on. Ah, uh, yeah. Question. Question number seven. Ah, uh, RS. Okay. Quadrilateral angle. 
yeah so no we can't really see say so. it's a quadrilateral given guys it's not a parallelogram just be what's your answer of say seven let me check your answers first seven how many of you say a seven seven go go for, tell me the answer of seven let me see how many of you have said a sir seventh one is a so seventh one is d who's this aditya yeah aditya seventh one is d yeah jindal janta is saying a how do you differ and why i'm interested i am interested in knowing this good contest bol why it is or not a and why it is d or vice versa yes sir what so those who are saying a uh, can anyone can come up with the proof please Omesh, you saying A? Why? Can you come up with the proof, please? Hello, guys. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. One minute. Yeah. Tell me why it is A. How did you come to come to conclusion that it is A? Sir. Yeah. Yes, Omesh, go ahead. Hello. Hello, guys. Are you okay? It's not a. So can I tell? Guys, it's not a parallelogram. Here and there. is a parallelogram the bisectors of any two consecutive angles intersect at right angle that is for parallelogram but it says bisectors of angle a and b of a quadrilateral abcd yeah this is this is only true for parallelogram not for any any just any odd any odd quadrilateral it has to be a parallelogram only then right angles but anyways let's not get into this theorem can we have some other method methodology so bisectors of a and b of a quadrilateral abc intersect each other at t of b and c at q and c and d at r and d and a s s p q r s is a rectangle whatever you have to find out how to do it so only only relation i know is p plus x plus y is 360 so now let us let us say this is z and this is u this i can definitely say is it it so hence i can say angle p is equal to 360 degrees sir no no 1 180 sir 180 180 right okay thanks is equal to 180 degrees p minus x minus y that's what i can say about p nothing more correct similarly can i say anything about r so angle r is equal to 180 degrees minus u minus z correct so angle p plus or angle p uh, yeah so what can i say about this now if you see okay if you see x plus y plus u plus z is nothing but 180 degrees itself Isn't it? Do you, do you get this? Why it is x plus y plus u plus z one eighty degrees? Because x is nothing but a by two, y is nothing but b by two, u is nothing but d by two, and z is angle c by two. Right? This is one eighty degrees. That's correct. Why? Because a plus b plus c plus d is three sixty. so this is true so if you add uh p plus r so from here if you add p plus angle r is 180 degree plus 180 degrees minus x plus y plus z plus u which is again 180 degrees so hence basically p and r angle p and angle r are supplementary so we can't see what you're writing how oh. You should have told me. The uh, questions are covering. Covering. Thank you. Yeah, supplementary. Is that okay? Similarly, S and Q can can be supplementary. So two opposite, two opposite. Uh, so opposite angles are supplementary. What is that case? Is there any case? So, if you see, it's very. no so s plus q is 180 degrees 
and similarly s uh, p plus r is 180 sorry i can't say anything about it yep so opposite angles are supplementary what is that hmm opposite angles of a parallelogram are never supplementary ah dekho yeah hai na option is there quadrilateral whose opposite angles are supplementary so d special type of so those who said a you know don't jump on to the conclusion so i know you were thinking that it's a parallelogram so if if it were a parallelogram then rectangle was the right answer but it was not so hence d is the correct answer 7d hence i stopped all of you oh one second dekho uh yep i hope this solution is clear to everyone why it is d so what did we do uh i hope the diagram is clear to everyone so you know the angles are equal and all that so angle bisectors are there so ap is angle bisector of a so x equals to x so i hope this is clear to you y equals y z equals z and u equals u these are the four bisectors now what i did this p plus x plus y is 180 degrees by angle sum property of a triangle uh and then similarly so p will be 180 minus x minus y then similarly angle r plus u plus z is 180 degree so r is 180 minus u minus z i hope this is clear then i simply added both of them before adding i just got this x plus y plus u plus z is 180 why because a plus b plus c plus d is 180 sorry 360 so a by 2 plus b by 2 plus c by 2 plus d by 2 will be 180 degrees right now what you do is you simply add them together so if i add them so p plus r in the left hand side will become 180 plus 180 minus x plus y plus u plus z all of these together which is nothing but 180 degrees from here so hence i got 180 plus 180 minus 180 that means p plus r is all only 180 so p plus r is 180 means what right p plus r is 180 means p and r are supplementary so hence option d i hope now it is clear to everyone yep is it clear to everyone good so let's move on to question number 8 let me see again so you must check your answers now so you are making mistakes question number 8 what is it apb apb and cqd are two parallel lines okay so a p b are two parallel and cqd so then the bisector three participants raised hand just a minute who is raising hand yeah aditya shri vashishta yeah aditya go ahead and say tell me what do you want to say aditya i can see your hand do you want to say anything anyways let's continue so this is the picture now they're saying now they're saying uh then the bisectors of the angles apq sanjana also is saying something okay wait a minute yes yeah, sanjana go ahead and say what do you want to say say if you want to say just unmute and say okay oh, i saw please go ahead please go ahead sanjana okay so um if you uh, draw a if you connect a uh, p and q p and q let me connect it for you connected Oh, you can't see. And so the bisector of APQ um mm -hmm. is a uh, joint to the bisector of CQP. CQP. So let me first join CQP. So CQP angle CQP. Oh, angles. I'm sorry. Oh, just a minute. Yes. So, uh, come again. I I didn't read the question properly first. So, so bisector of angle APQ. AP. Is Oh. Okay. Is um uh, connected to the bisector of angle CQP. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, and same way for the other side, um BPQ uh, and um DQP, they are joined. Okay, fair enough. Like this. Um, so we know that AB is parallel to CD, and um that APQ plus uh. P Q C is equal to one eighty degrees. Okay, so this is ninety degree. Yeah. Very good. So this is and also that is also ninety degree. 
and then after that since um uh the two angles are uh, um either the wait yeah, tell me the names 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 of the angles um so both the nine since both the 90 degrees are, are equal it makes um a uh, angle uh, p wait so can you mark the other two points yes let's say uh, what point so let's say this point what point what is your name let me say x and capital y hmm. so um angle xpy is also equal to 90 degrees and why would that be um so so if you um add it uh, uh it'll be the same thing no uh, since um there uh, 90 degrees and also um x xpq is um also e equal to um this one 90 degrees yes why because i'll tell you uh, you have to articulate it well so, angle x small x this angle is also small x this angle is small y this angle is also small y correct so you know mm -hmm. that 2x plus 2y is 180 degrees linear pair yeah x plus y will be is 90 and same way for the other side. And since all angles are equal, it's a rectangle. Very good. Awesome. Any problem in this understanding that? Uh, could you come to the question? Come again. Who's this? Identify yourself. Uh, sir, I'm Anirad. Uh, could you please uh, show the question? Uh, a solution or question? Solution you want? Sir, the question, sir. I want, you want to see the question. It's right here. No, sir, the whole thing, like it, I can only see half of it. How to do it? That's what you're saying. Solution. Sir, I can see only half of the question. Could you please show the whole thing? Half of the question, okay. I think it's... Uh, sir, can we also say that uh, YPQ equals PQA due to alternate interior? So, uh, angle... Slowly, slowly, slowly. YPQ is equal to? Angle AQP. Why? Alternate interior. Or ordinate interior, sorry. Why are they interior? It's not given that QB is parallel to PC. No, oh. APB is parallel to uh, CQD, right? So PQ is a transversal. PQ is a transversal, perfect. So hence, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Then again, next. Sorry, sir, I got it wrong. I'm sorry. Wait, then, then PBQ would be equal to CQB, uh, CQP. No, no, he, he got confused uh, say, saying PY is parallel to QX, you already assumed. Sir, 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 sir. Yeah. Listen, um, P, B, P, Q is equal to CQP. Therefore, half of CQP is equal to half of BPQ. <laughs> Sanjana, once again. Yes, sir, then it will be parallel. Once again, once again, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't pick it up. So, BPQ is yeah. equal to CQP. Alternate interior. Oh, great. Uh, awesome. Very good. Good good hold, guys. Therefore, half of CQP is equal to half of BPQ. Very, very good. So, this angle is also Y. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, hence, yes. Uh, Shreyas, you should be able to articulate. Mathematics may communication is also important. Okay. Good, guys. So, you have, you know, it appears that, you know, uh, you are having good... Uh, so, any other thoughts on this? Question number eight, guys. Fairly done? Sir. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Who's this? So it's me, Aditya. Yeah. Uh, so, can we also show the Kong can you also show congruency? Where? So uh, in this in this question to prove that it is a rectangle. Uh congruency will see. Congruency is like uh, going a still further step. Yeah. You don't need to, actually, because before that stage itself, we can... Yes, Yeah, what I'm trying to say, Aditya, is before that stage itself, we are able to... Do. So, hence, we don't need to, you know, go for the kill, overkill. You understand? Excuse okay. me, sir. Definitely a result of this that you will be... Uh, uh, PXQY is coming out to be a rectangle. Just by saying that all of them are 90. Mm. That's good enough. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Who's this? Sir, it's me. Sir, I'm Sanjeev. Yeah, Sanjeev, go ahead. So we can solve this even by co-interior angles, you no know, sir, by that property. Go ahead, explain. So, so since we know that, uh, like we have proved that angle P X or Q is equal to ninety degree. So, okay. like uh, angle P X Q plus angle uh, 
X Q T will be equal to one eighty degree. Go into your answer. X Q P. X Q P or X Q B? X Q Y you were saying? Hi, yeah, yeah. X Q X Q Y. Yes, sir. Yeah. So they are ninety ninety. So one eighty. Go into your answer. Like yes. that only we can prove all our ninety degree and like. I'm going to say yes. You can because once you know that lines are parallel and their alternating angles are equal, you can really do you know. so many things but the thing is in the minimum possible steps is you just prove all the angles are 90 and you are done right yes sir you can have multiple you know ways of uh, you know that's the fun in geometry there is no one way there are multiple highways but all all roads lead to rome can you just try ninth one before we leave you ninth one <laughs> so i want at least 10 questions to be you know yes it's good that we are analyzing on lots on these questions good you should you know you should spend time on the question just just don't be content with okay i got the solution and hence and we learned in problem number 7 that you know we need to brood over the problem yes go ahead and solve 8 oh 8 is done i believe this was the 8 question oh question number 9 tha question number 9 you have to do figure obtained by joining the midpoints of the sides of rhombus taken in order is midpoints of a rhombus so This is our rhombus, and you are taking joining the midpoints. Very good. So if you join the rhombus, uh, midpoints of the rhombus, so uh, sides of the rhombus, what will you get? Square. How and why? So midpoints. Let me name it A, B, C, D. You must be ready with the proofs as well. So let's say P, Q, R, S, O. Okay, so midpoints of the rhombus. Okay, so this is anyways ninety degrees, and <clears throat> if it is ninety, and uh, so this is parallel, so this is ninety. So definitely, it's a rectangle for sure. Whether it is a, it it will not be a square by the way. It will be a rectangle. Yep, nine B. It will not be a square. Why? Because again, if you see PQ is parallel to BD, and Hence, PQ is parallel to SR, and similarly by the same logic. So PQRS is a PQRS is a is a, is a parallelogram for sure. But there is a 90 degree here, right? If this is 90 degree because diagonals of uh, rhombus bisect each other at 90, so this is 90. This is parallel, so this has to be 90. So this has to be 90. So all are 90. That means it's a rectangle. One angle is ninety. That means it's a rectangle, and it's not a square for sure. Why? Because PQ is equal to half BD, and uh, QR is equal to half, let's say AC, and BD is not equal to AC, guys. Because in a rhombus, diagonals are not equal. Wrong option. What is wrong option? Nine B is not correct. Rectangle. Yeah, correct. Next, last question, and then. Good night to you. One last question. Ten. D and E are the midpoints of sides AB, AC of the triangle ABC, and O is any point on side BC. So don't get frightened by the language. D and E are the midpoints of sides AB and AC. So let me draw a triangle. Quick triangle. So A, B, C. D and E are the midpoints of the sides AB. Okay. So, so D E. Okay. uh and o is any point on side bc so let's say this is o so what now and o is joined to a okay let's join o very good if p and q are the midpoints of ob ob p and q so p p p p so this is p this is q P and Q are the midpoints of OB and OC respectively. Then D E Q P. Okay, interesting. D E. So so D E. Yeah. What is it? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? So sure. parallelogram. It's a parallelogram. Yeah. Correct. Why? Yeah. It's a parallelogram. So, why? So yeah. since all sides are parallel to each other, using right. the midpoint theorem. Very good. So DE is parallel to. 
that's one then since p is also midpoint and d is also midpoint so pd is parallel to ao and similarly eq is parallel to ao so hence my dear friends pd is parallel to eq so hence this these two sides are parallel and these two sides are and equal and equal yeah equal as well yep ha so that you can use that also so let's say who is this who said equal so ashwin ashwin said equal so hence ashwin basically what you can say pd is parallel to eq and pd is equal to eq either you use this so this is sufficient condition for the parallelogram yes this is sufficient condition or you can also say one you say pd is parallel to eq and de is also parallel to eq so these are two ways of sorry right so today we solved 10 questions in about 60 minutes that means per question took around 6 minutes yes we did deliberate a little bit more on few questions but yes uh, the speed is not that great we should be able to solve minimum of 20 these kind of questions per hour so we'll, no problem we'll slowly increase the speed so i believe you have the this thing with you next time when we discuss we'll not discuss the mcqs we'll discuss these questions okay uh the you sort answer okay Excuse so me, i sir. yeah please who's this so it's me aditya go ahead so in the eighth question the eighth question let me go back to the in the eighth question tell me what happened question yeah so uh, if it is just given as a theoretical question without any options it uh, is it important to do the congruency to show that it's a rectangle no i i we didn't use congruence at all to show that it is a rectangle if you see what we do in this case uh so we just said that um We said that two x plus two y. So this is y y y. So we said two x plus two y is one eighty degrees. Why? Because what angles are? Are uh, co. Supplement. Yes, sir. Two x x y is. If x plus y is one eighty, then automatically this angle, which angle? This angle becomes a right angle. Okay. Yeah. Angle PXQ. Yeah. Similarly, this angle becomes ninety. Yes, sir. Hence, and plus y was. Yeah. Okay, sir. All the angles are ninety. What is this? We didn't use. Okay. Very good. I enjoyed the session. I hope you guys also enjoyed the session with your class. Sir. Yeah. This. Sir. Yep. Go ahead. It is. Sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank. Sir. Yes, go ahead. Sir, could you send this question, this paper, onto the group? Who is this, Yeshika? Yes, sir. Ah, no problem. Good guys, thanks a lot. And. Uh, sir. Yep. Yeah. Sir, where did you find these questions from? Yeah, okay, these are exemplar questions. You are. ncrt exemplar www.ncrt.nic.in slash oh it's not in the textbook no it's not okay okay so okay. hello yeah so thanks guys and good night to all of you so doubt ah who is this So Aditya from NTS K R M. Yes, Aditya, go ahead. Oh, uh, so I think I had a doubt in the last one. Hmm. Um, one, I think, one. I think the ninth one, yeah. Ninth one. Yeah. So, so how is uh, how is um, just one second. Hmm. Go ahead. Just one second. No 
Uh, yeah, so how is PD equal to EQ? Question number nine. Yeah. Oh, nine, nine, nine. There. Okay. This one? Uh, I can't see it. Here? Oh, I, I just stopped sharing. Wait a minute. I'll share again. Can you see it? Oh, uh, no. Can you now see it? Yeah. Hmm. Hello. So, uh, no, so not, not this question, the ninth one, right? This one, the ninth. Uh, figure so, out the sorry, the tenth one, tenth one. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, tenth one. Okay, so tenth one. Yeah. So in tenth one, uh, uh, how is DP equal to EQ? DP is equal to e EQ because, dekho, by midpoint theorem, consider this triangle. This one first. This one. Oh. This one. Yeah. In this triangle, this is the line joining the midpoint. Yeah. So can I say D what P is equal to half of AO. AO. Similarly, in the other side, here, here, what can I say? Uh, I say EQ, EQ is equal to half AO. Half of AO. So both yeah. are that yeah. means P is equal to so DP is equal to EQ, yeah. Correct? Yes. Anything else? No, that's it. Yeah, great. Good night, dude. Thank you, sir. Yeah, bye. Bye.